Hey guys, hope you all are doing great. So today I'm going to show my Dubai haul. Like what all I got from Dubai. Like I got a lot of stuffs from uh, Sephora and Boots Pharmacy and other local pharmacies. And also I got a lovely jacket that I really adore. So Dubai, like most of the places that I had been to, they had sale going on. Like each and every item you see, they had sale going on. So I thought that this would be the great time to shop. So the very first uh, haul that I'm going to show is from Sephora. This bag I also got from Sephora. Like if you, there was this offer going on. If you spend uh, for more than 500 dirhams, you get this bag free. But the amount I spend, I think I should be getting two bags free but that's okay so the very first product that i got is from this brand called nux nux i have no idea how to pronounce it this is the nux or i don't know how to pronounce it it's their white serum and this is what it looks like this is the outer packaging and uh, this is the actual bottle looks really nice feels really nice this is a premium luxury skincare brand and i have no idea why but the i had been to two malls the first one was the dubai mall and the second one was in abu dhabi and both the ladies over there were forcing me to buy brands from sorry buy products from this brand and i had no idea why i thought at first that maybe the product has like they are the brand has really good products but uh, then i was like maybe the products I mean they're not able to sell it so they just wanted me to buy these but I have uh, tried these for a couple of days and I have my judgment and uh, I'll do a separate video on these products so the second product that I got is again from the same brand and this is their um, 48 hour moisturizing rich cream and it is anti-pollution as well this is for dry very dry and normal skin this again the this brand products are very very expensive like this serum it cost it for about seven thousand rupees so it's very expensive and i hope it works till now i have not seen any results but yeah this is the actual uh, jar like it's made of plastic it's not made of glass and it smells really really heavenly it's a thick cream and it smells really heavenly like it smells of flowers I guess but it smells really luxurious and feels luxurious I really like this cream and the third product that I got is their face wash now this is again from their white range now this white range basically uh, promises to uh, diminish the dark spots reveal brighter younger looking skin so I haven't seen anything of that till now and this is the face wash and this is brightening purifying foam with white flowers and cherry blossom this cleanses detoxifies and clarifies and this is for all skin types so this is what it looks like till now i really really like this face wash it just makes your uh, face look very smooth very baby soft just like a baby's butt it's just amazing but i have not seen any brightening effect as such till now so i'm kind of disappointed because the amount I paid is a lot. So the last product from this brand that I got is again from their 48 hour moisture range. And this is their uh, SOS Rescue Mask. This is anti-pollution and soothing. Again, this is for all skin types. I really like this face mask. If you're someone with dry, mature, wrinkly skin, this is going to help you so good. Like it's just really nice. I really like this mask. It's amazing. And this is what it looks like. Again, none of the packaging are made of glass, so that's kind of good. But the amount of spending, I feel they should have just, uh, you know, made the packaging look a little better. A little heavy, but it's okay. It's travel friendly. So this product, I really like it because it's very amazing. It just makes my skin look very smooth and very baby soft and supple. But I have not seen any brightening aspect as such. So I'm just hoping to... Uh, for them to show results in within a few weeks maybe because I am going to give them you know quite some time to work and I'm going to do a separate video like I said so the next product that I got is from Urban Decay and it is their Optical Illusion Complexion Primer Smoothing, Rosehip and Argan Oil Pore Perfecting this 
I was so excited to try this. They have launched four primers, like newly launched, and one is one has like a silicone base, clear base primer, which has SPF 30. So in case if you want a primer and a sunscreen in one, you're gonna get that one. And there are other three variants out of which this is the pore perfecting one, and it is. Uh, I think this is very dupable if you've tried the L'Oreal uh, Magique primer it feels exactly the same it's just that this one doesn't leave streaks like the L'Oreal one it used to leave streaks on my face and it used to look a little patchy I don't know for what reason but this one's really nice I like it they have other two other three ranges like other three products based on your skin type and your needs you can just look up for the range and uh, see it for yourself if you like it. I really like this primer. It's really nice. It's really smoothing. It does not do much to your pores. But again, I'll be doing a separate video on this one and see how it fares on my skin. Then I got like the Holy Grail toners. Not toners. Yeah. Tonics. Which I used to see everywhere on Instagram, like every single wear on Instagram, and it is the Pixie Glow Tonic. This is something I did not expect to find it in Sephora Dubai, but I uh, I'm really happy that um, I got this one. And uh, there were like three or two tonics, I guess, out of which I picked up the uh, Glow Tonic, which is something which is very popular across Instagram. You might be knowing it. And the other one is Rose Tonic. I really like both of these. I picked this one up accidentally because I thought that this one was Glow Tonic, but when I opened up and when I checked and I was like, this is not Glow Tonic, this is some other tonic. But then I went back again to Sephora and picked up the Glow Tonic, which I was really excited for. So yeah. These cost for about 60 dirhams each, I guess around 1200,000, I don't know, I'm not really sure about the pricing, but yeah, these are really nice. And then I got the very much hyped up setting product across, you know, like beauty gurus that have been raving a lot and it is the Laura Mercier uh, Translucent Powder. This is very, very expensive and i thought that since this product was so much hyped up like every other youtuber was using it and i was like i need to get my hands on it and i finally did and again what i think about this product i don't know i'll be doing again a separate video on this one this is a full-size jar okay you get about um i guess you get about 29 grams of product why not 30 why only 29 grams i don't know so uh then this is what it comes you know it comes with a seal on top which i did remove and i did use it but i then uh, sticked it back again so that it just not uh, pill out so spill out not pill out so this is what i got this was for around 160 dirhams i believe i have no idea about the pricing because i'm too bad with maths and yeah so laura mercy powder again something which a lot of people swear by did it do wonders to my skin you need to stick to my channel and know okay and the next product that i got is from fenty beauty like this was something i was again very very excited about okay because fenty beauty is known to cover all skin shades like you know inclusive of all skin shades and um, my i was i was really happy to find my shade because this matte stick is in the color wheat and it looks like my exact skin shade it has perfect yellow golden undertone it just it's just perfect okay i normally don't find um shade uh, my shade in higher end or sorry higher end or a drugstore brand i don't really find my shade so i was really happy to find one this is what it looks like you must have seen it i mean all across instagram this okay oh okay so this is the only one of product you get that's kind of disappointing and this is the shade wheat this is the shade wheat this is what it looks like it has perfect yellow goldeny undertone it has a really nice warmth to it if you have cool undertone they have options again just like i said rihanna just included all skin shades and all undertones so that's really nice but again, what do I feel about this product? This is just a whole video and I'm just showing all the products that I got. I did not even throw away the boxes because I wanted to show you what is the actual packaging. Then, 
if you ever check out from Sephora, you see there are stands near the counters where you see the mini products, okay? So you should really check that one out. If you're someone who feels that, you know, I doubt whether this product is going to work for me or not, just check if that product has a miniature version available near the cash counter because they have all the miniature available like Benefit Mascara Mini or uh, uh, Too Faced Mascara Mini and even this product I was really excited to try this is the Cordial Cordali I have no idea how to pronounce the name I want to buy this one but I was really unsure of buying it because it was really expensive and then I saw near the cash counter they had the mini sizes available of most of the products out there so I thought let's pick this up. I really like this although this is a glass jar, no, sorry glass packaging it's still sturdy and it's, it's fine it won't really break. Now the most amazing product out of my entire makeup collection has to be the one and only Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. This is amazing. This is like the only product which I fell in love with, you know, from my entire makeup haul. I really, really like it. I have it in the shade medium brown. I thought medium brown would be suitable for people with very fair skin tone, but when I checked the shade in reality, not on Instagram, in reality, I thought this would be a pretty good match. I'm wearing it right now on my brows and it looks like a perfect match. It does not look very stark and artificial. It looks very natural. This is what the shade looks like. This is shade medium brown and I'm just gonna like swatch it for you. It has proper grey undertones. So if you're someone with very very uh, warm skin tone, black hair, this is gonna look absolutely beautiful on you. Because most of the products that I come across are brown in color, are, in, are brown in undertone. So they don't look as natural on my skin tone. Like whenever there is light coming on me, it kind of looks red and I hate that. So along with this product, I also got the brush which costed for about 90 dirhams. It's amazing, it's amazing because it's, it's made of really nice quality. It was just a few bucks less than the dip from dip brow pomade and i was like okay that's fine and from sephora i also they were really like sweet enough to give me so many samples like they gave me mark jacobs shameless youthful look long wear foundation samples i got it in two shades but in three quantities like i have in the shade medium y320 and medium y390 these are all separate so I have tried the Y320, it's kind of light for my skin tone but it has amazing yellow on the tone so good for Indian skin tone. Then from the brand NUX, NUX whatever, I got so many samples. I got like BB cream samples and I got uh, eye cream samples, I got a lot of samples and I also got a free gift. This is a hand cream and it's an amazing hand cream, it's a must if you're someone like me who loves washing hands again and again and it tends to get dry so this is a must okay i really like this hand cream so i ended up liking the samples more than the actual products that i purchased for my money so what else do i have from sephora okay so this is the last product that i had have from sephora this is the better than love mascara you must be knowing the actual name they have changed to better than love i have no idea why but uh, yeah i again picked this one up from the sephora cash counter because again they have all the minis available over there so i got like uh, i also shot from etude house i don't know how to pronounce the name you must be doing it's launching soon on Nika and I was so privileged to actually go to the store and try out the products and then buy it. So when I entered the store it was like a playhouse okay it was so cute and all the products whether it works for you or not you are going to end up buying it because they look very cute. So these are all the products that I got I'm so happy that I got them. Even if it launches on Nika you do know that they are not going to launch the entire range you know it's going to be some it's in uh what what do you say bits and pieces yeah bits and pieces so yeah so i uh, got like three lip products sorry one two three four lip products and uh, i'm just gonna swatch them all for you so i got two dear darling tints so one is in the shade rd306 and one is in the shade rd307 this is what it looks like as you can see the 
packaging is too die for i mean oh there's something in the mouth i don't know how do they come up with such packaging it's it's really really cute and it's not very expensive it does not come under high end brand so i really like that fact and i also must have noticed that i got nail polish on because i don't know for some reason my nails and these were looking very bad on camera and i had to go and get some color on my nails so i got two shades in this just like i said rg rd306 and rd307 so this is the shade rd306 it's like a cherry red cherry tint color and this is the rd306 it's like a peach apricot color maybe i'm not sure it or how does it look on camera yeah it's pink peach color this would look great on medium to dusky skin and this would look great on light to medium skin tone it's not pigmented but it just gives a tint effect just like the name says it's not going to cover your pigmentation but it's just going to ensure that you have some color on your lips just to make your face look brighter and more polished so these are the two products that i got from the tint darling tint range and the other two products are actually a liquid lipstick this is a pencil this is a play 101 blending pencil in the shade in the number 25 this is a lip crayon okay but once you apply it it just settles down to a liquid matte finish i don't know how can that a uh, lip product like a lip pencil do because even if a lip pencil is matte in texture it will transfer like most of the lip pencils that i've tried they do transfer this is like a liquid lipstick in a pencil form and i got in the shade shade number 25 it's a beautiful 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 shade i just want to show it to you i'm wearing it on my lips right now it's a pink mauve color so at times so when i feel like changing the undertone of it i just apply rd306 and then i just kind of remove the excess and blot it and then i go in with this uh, what is it called play 101 blending pencil in the shade 25 it's really nice let me tell you you have to be very quick in applying once you fill it in you cannot just go over it again because just like i said it's a liquid lipstick formulation then i went ahead and purchased an actual liquid lipstick and it is their color in liquid lips this is in the shade rd302 i don't know how did they come up with such rd names but yeah this is like a deep brown pinky mauvey color very pretty if you are a uh, lighter skin tone if you have light skin tone so this is probably going to look very dark and kind of a little a little dark darker than nude it's really pretty but if you're someone from medium to dusky skin tone it's going to look absolutely amazing it's going to look like a everyday shade for you my lips were better kind of shade it is very good it smells it smells of boomer if you've ever tried boomer bubble gum it smells just like that it's it's amazing It says it's a velvet matte finish, so I guess it's not a completely drying, sucking out moisture kind of liquid lipstick finish, but it's more on the velvety side. I have not tried this. This is something my mom got for herself, so I have not tried this on my lips. I just tried this blending lip pencil, which I have on my lips right now. Now I've tried the Dior Darling tints, and then coming on to the eyebrow piles that I got, one for my mom and one for myself. So I always prefer going for. grey undertone brow products because uh, grey undertone kind of looks natural on my skin uh, against the brown undertone and they kind of look red so my mom went with the brown um, tint my four tip brow this is in the shade i don't know there's no shade written yeah there's this shade written this is in the shade 02 dark brown i'm just going to swatch it and let you see the color Because since it's launching on Nike pretty soon, then you might you know find it a little helpful that what the color actually looks like. It has this uh, micro blading kind of tip, you see, so that you know whenever you apply it, it kind of looks like hair. It just looks like hair. It just mimics the hair. It's it's very light in color. Okay. It's very smooth. It's very watery. It's like a sketch pen. I don't know if you can see if you're able to see it, but it's very watery in consistency. But once it sets, it does not move. So if you're someone with fair 
light skin tone you can probably go for this shade it will look very natural and it will deepen up a little so just make sure you apply it nicely then the color that i got is uh, gray brown 04 and this is something it says it's gray brown but it doesn't have any brown or tones to it so yeah okay this one looks this one would look more natural i guess because it has gray undertones it has proper gray undertones as you can see this one is dark brown this one is gray brown both have a clear differentiation of undertones it's really nice so these retail for i have no idea because this one these were in biram so i have no idea and then i got a honey sera uh, kit this is i don't know this doesn't have any name it's honey plus ceramide kit this i got it by mistake i had paid the money and i had no idea how did it get to the counter it has four products it has an eye cream it has an it has an emulsion it has an uh toner and it has a cream it's just falling off everywhere so it has four products in here and i don't know how did it get it there but yeah i'm just going to use it up because i paid for it it's really nice they have small tiny kits available so that you can try it for yourself and just see if you want to you know uh splurge on the bigger ones so then i got so excited because i got to see there were these perfumes in colorful like in beautiful colors like light blue baby pink uh sea green they had like uh, bigger bottles and as well as on the side they had a roll-on so i picked up the roll-on uh, perfumes this is not ittar or something it's a perfume but in a roll-on form so that whenever in emergency you can just apply it and you're good to go so i picked up three variants i picked up uh, romantic i picked up fresh and i picked up clean so these are the three variants that i uh, purchased and i like the clean one better because it just suits my taste so these are the three products that i got and i also got free samples i got this uh, mascara remover which is great for removing eye makeup stubborn waterproof makeup and then i got this uh, soon jung trial kit i have i don't have any idea what is this okay so i got these two products as a sample they were really genuine like the people over there they're really genuine with it so coming on to the pharmacy haul this video is going to stretch far so yeah i'm just gonna mention all the products down below so that you just see the products that i have mentioned in this video so the very first product that i got is from uh, l'oreal it's their pure clay exfoliating gel wash now this is um if you've come across the mask the, that algae mask which is in a jar form they have a face wash of the same ingredients as well which you can use daily i love this face wash it's amazing it just brightens up your face so 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 beautifully it also exfoliates since it has scrubbing particles it's even better than my nuke snucks i don't know what face wash is this this is shit expensive this is for around 600 rupees indian currency i really like this then i got um there was this buy two get two offer going on so i got two what is this Soap and Glory, uh, this was launched in Sephora India as well but they just pulled out all the brand's products from Sephora outlets and they don't have it anymore. So I really like their products, they have amazing uh, body care range. So I got uh, Clean On Time Creamy Clarifying Shower Gel, this is for half liter 500 ml. And then I got uh, the Daily Smooth Ultra Rich Body Lotion, again this is for half liter this is gonna last me for a long 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 time they have this open and close like uh, technique as well so it's gonna be travel friendly and also since they had buy to get to offer then i picked up two products from again the same brand i picked up their hand food this is their hand cream like you see in the videos my hands are quite drying and very ugly so i need a hand cream always and then i got melty talented dry skin balm this can be used on dry lips hair tips elbows knees cuticles it has with coconut and almond oils mango butter and vitamin e 
I didn't like this. I have not opened this yet. I just sniffed and it smells so good. This it has a paper on it so that uh, you know it ensures that nobody has touched it. Then I uh, purchased uh, a Garnier cream. This is their green tea uh, mattifying cream, botanical day cream. It's a mattifying cream for normal to oily skin. This is what the packaging looks like. I kind of like this cream if you're someone with normal to oily skin. You can probably give this a try, but this is not available in India, so that's sad. And then I picked up a few pharmacy, like uh, dermatologist brands. I came, with, yeah. So I picked up uh, three products from pharmacies. This is a brand that I got in the local pharmacy store over there. These are expensive for more than 100 dirhams, around approximately 2000 rupees per product. So I got uh, the um, cleansing and makeup removing milk with microspheres. This is what it looks like. It's an amazing cleanser. If you have very sensitive skin like I do, this is a really good cleansing milk. Then I got... Um, then I got Pharmacy's Intensive Whitening Night Cream. This is what it looks like and the inside looks like this. It's, it's quite tiny. It's very tiny. It's just for 30 ml. Cost for about 2000 rupees again. And then I got uh, Pharma Series uh, Anti Dark Circles Corrective Eye Cream. I just checked up this review on uh, Indian Makeup and Beauty blog and it has got like very positive review. So I was like I really need to buy this. It has SPF 15 also so it's perfect for uh, daytime use as well. So these are the products that I got for uh, my skincare. And then I was facing a lot of dandruff, so I went ahead and purchased this uh, shampoo from a brand called Petal Fresh. This is their hair rescue thickening treatment. It is their anti-dandruff shampoo. It has biotin B complex, caffeine plus zinc. It voluminizes and controls itching plus flaking. This really helped clear my dandruff like not in one go but it took a few days to kind of control my dandruff and uh, flakiness this is really really nice the conditioner is even better okay i have colored hair and conditioning colored hair can be a task because no conditioner can ever make your hair manageable because since it's so dry and colored you cannot just go through your hair you know with your fingers it's really dry and rough this is amazing this again a single product cost for about 51 dirhams which is approximately under thousand rupees and then i picked up a ted baker body spray these smell so 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 good these smells really good okay i picked up two smaller bottles again they had buy two get two offer so i picked two smaller bottles so that they can fit inside my purse because i am someone who forgets to apply perfume so i just remember when i step outside already so this kind of fits in my bag and this is like a full size bottle and it smells amazing you need to try this but better than this i have some perfumes that i've purchased and i'm going to show you in a while and again i picked up another hand cream buy two get two of course so yeah so coming on to my uh perfumes i have picked up a lot of perfumes from brands that are not even something that i've heard of so that's weird but uh, this is something i picked up from the uh, airport while i had my departure so this is the color me this is from a brand called color me this is female perfume obviously it has two bottles like buy one get one offer it was they had amazing deals on perfumes cosmetics skincare anything they have amazing deals going on you really need to check this out this smells bomb okay this smells bomb if you ever going out of dubai like the departure airport if you come across this store which is next to this spa um massage parlor this it's on the first floor i believe this is amazing it smells so elegant so seductive this is something you need to really try and it lasts for a really really long time okay i obviously cannot make you smell these because i know how wonderful these smell so yeah 
then i picked up this uh, body spray which is like an oud body spray and this is from a brand called rosella i don't know i cannot repurchase these products because these don't have brands or websites or anywhere this is for around 74 dirhams this smells amazing again then i got this pure uh, then i got this perfume from uh, natural touch and this is their pure natural touch perfume for female again this one last for a really really long time it smells it smells so good seriously it smells really good the cap is a little loose fitting but that's fine i don't mind it then i went ahead with uh, this is something i picked up from the supermarket this is the rasasi rasasi i had no idea how to pronounce this brand's name but this is their you just look up for yourself this is the uh perfume chastity 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 yeah this is what the uh perfume looks like this smells divine all of the perfumes that i got they smell good okay these are bomb.com okay i cannot just think of applying what perfume because i just want to save all of these because i know when am i going to go to dubai again i have no idea so i don't want to waste any of these but yeah, i have to apply these also i forgot to tell you that i got like under eye patches from the uh pharmacy stores they were really cheap for i think 24 dirhams they were really really cheap uh one i got uh, the rejuvenating one and one i got no one i got firming one and the other one i got in uh, brightening one and on nike the brightening like the under eye patches are very very expensive so i thought that i should get these from the pharmacy store as well so these were the products that i got and i also forgot to show my jacket this is what i got from desi gual desi gual i have no idea how to pronounce this brand's name again this is a 10000 rupee jacket and i got it on discount should i be saying this but i got it on discount so yeah this is super pretty and it was i think uh there were just last few pieces left i guess one or two pieces left and i was lucky enough to buy this it's it's super pretty okay i really really love it so these were the products that i i just hope i don't put makeup on this jacket these were the products that i purchased and i will do a separate video on each of the products that i purchased especially on the etude or etude house makeup products because since nike has been launching soon you might want to know what products you want to purchase so that uh, you can just check out for yourself and please do subscribe to this channel because i'll make sure i try to upload videos on regular basis because i've been missing in action for such a long time but i'm sure that i'll be uploading regularly so thanks for watching and please do stay tuned to my channel if you're not subscribed do hit that subscribe button till my next video bye